Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk about something that is just really bothering me about my makeup collection right now, specifically my eyeshadow palettes. And yes, I say it's bothering me because I feel like a sucker. I feel like I am getting bamboozled. I'm getting fooled. I'm getting hoodwinked into buying certain palettes that I would never have bought had it not had a pop of blue in it, okay? Now this is a topic that is very popular, very familiar in the beauty community because we all know <laughs> that if you wanna sell a basic, boring, neutral, warm, earth tone, cool tone palette, just throw a pop of blue in there and they'll fly off the shelves like <laughs> Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory, okay? Everybody knows that. Why? It's something about the color blue. And everybody doesn't even like to rock blue like I do. I mean, there's a lot of people where it's like, I'm not wearing blue eyeshadow. Me, on the other hand, as you guys know, I love a good blue eyeshadow. So, I feel like I can suck it into it every time. Now, I've seen a video or two talking about this subject. You know, I didn't really do any major research. I didn't feel like I needed to because all I had to do was look in my collection <laughs> to see that the bamboozlement definitely is alive and well, okay? Because they get me, for real. Y'all know they get me, okay? Okay, now, I'm the one that's being bamboozled by all of this, okay? Every single time they get me, okay? They always know, yes, instant purchase, instant buy, easy sale, KK is sure enough gonna buy it if I put a pop of blue in there, okay? I have a problem and I don't understand why. Now let me just show you quickly why it is that I don't need any more warm, earth tone, neutral, cool tone, you know, everyday work shade, whatever the case may be, eyeshadow palette, okay? I don't need another snooze fest eyeshadow palette, which they're not snooze fest, but you know, for a color lover, they can be. But let me show you exactly why I don't need any more warm brown neutral palettes, okay? Soft Glam, ABH. We're all very familiar with the Soft Glam palette. This palette is gorgeous. You know, it doesn't look like much, but this palette packs a beautiful, warm, earth tone punch, okay? It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Modern Renaissance, okay? We all know about Modern Renaissance. This palette is beautiful. It has the gorgeous burgundy tones. You can get a nice romantic burgundy red, just gorgeous look, okay, from this palette. Modern Renaissance, okay? Sultry. <laughs> now I'm realizing that ABH is real good at putting out some nice neutral palettes, okay? With some beautiful shimmers in it. But the Sultry palette, as you can see, a little bit cooler, you know, cooler tones in here, but you can really create some beautiful, sultry, gorgeous looks. I mean, granted, yeah, the packaging is way better than the eyeshadows inside, but it's still a beautiful palette, right? I don't regret it. Naked heat. <laughs> now, if you ever wanted a neutral brown, just kind of, I don't know. You know, it's called the heat palette, so yeah, it's beautiful. There's some beautiful warm tones in here, but if it had a beautiful bright red, then okay, I would say it's a heat palette. But this palette right here, this is like all the warm, neutral, boring, go to sleep, <laughs> everyday look eyeshadows that one woman would need, right? Okay? Now, if that's not enough, I even have this giant palette from Babella Pro. This is <laughs> aptly named Basic Browns, okay? Now, if I can't find a warm brown basic neutral everyday eyeshadow in this palette to use for a boring basic look then i'm not gonna find it okay this palette is jam packed with warm basic neutral boring shadows okay jam packed with it this is all i need i don't even need all that other stuff this is all i need really now now that we have all the neutral palettes covered 
Let's talk about why I don't need a pop of blue, okay? But I'm just constantly drawn to this pop of blue. Face Candy Atlantis. <laughs> Now, if you're familiar with this palette, you know that they came out with this because I guess Tarte couldn't handle it. <laughs> they did their little April Fool's joke, but they couldn't handle it, okay? So, Face Candy was like, you know what? We got you, boo. We got you. So, they came out with this gorgeous blue palette that dropped on Shop Hush, and it was like, as soon as I saw you knew I was all over it, okay? All over it. But... This palette has every single shade that I would ever need to create a gorgeous blue eyeshadow look, okay? Mix it with one of those neutral palettes and I'm good to go, right? Beautiful, don't need any other blue shadows in my collection. But with all that being said, <laughs> I've been just kind of scouring through my eyeshadow palettes because I started to notice a familiar pattern with the eyeshadow palettes that I'm drawn to, that I love, that I'm constantly buying, and it's the pop of blue effect <laughs> and I'm tired of it okay quite frankly I'm tired of it so let me just go through my palettes and kind of show you what I'm talking about now this first palette oh gorgeous okay I will admit granted I purchased this palette 99.9% .9 because of the packaging I'm not gonna lie the packaging is beautiful look at it it's gorgeous it's a beautiful like iridescent clamshell okay it's beautiful now this is the Tarte palette I don't ask me what the name of it is but it's a Tarte palette this is what this palette looks like inside okay gorgeous I mean just the design of it the gold background it's just beautiful okay now you see that you see that two blue shades two pops of blue in there right now <laughs> try to ignore my nails okay but if I removed those two pops of blue do you think I would have been drawn to this palette at all I mean look at this palette you guys look at it if you take those two blue shades out <laughs> I never would have gave this palette a second look not a second look okay the pop of blue effect in full effect hell the whole package is a pop of blue <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh, y'all got me color pop. Now, this palette has a little bit more than a pop of blue, okay? This is the Mar palette. Basically, it's a beach-themed palette. You know, like, okay, you wanna go to the beach, you got your browns, your tans, your golds, your blues, you know, beautiful palette, right? These blues in here, if you take away the blues in this palette, okay? <laughs> It's a bad idea for me to wear blue nails, right? Just ignore them, though. But you take away the blues in this palette. Do you guys think I ever would have given this palette a second look? Would I have purchased this palette? Hell no! <laughs> okay, let's just be real. No, I would not have. But you add these gorgeous pops of blues, and you know what? It's the best thing since sliced bread, ain't it? It's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. And as a matter of fact, this palette created this look today next I have this beautiful urban decay elements palette that I haven't even used yet you guys okay but the same thing aside from the packaging yes I purchased this palette about 99% because of the packaging but let's take a look at this palette okay this is the elements palette let's let's get a close look here okay has a couple of beautiful you know greens little purpley shades in there along with the earthly elements in there but let's be real okay let's just be real let's take out these blue shades right here now if we took out the blue shades in this palette would I have purchased it I doubt it I doubt it every now and then they'll throw in a green throw in a purple to kind of throw you off but yeah if this palette didn't have these beautiful pops of blue <laughs> down here I probably wouldn't have purchased it let's just be real okay aside from the packaging now here's a palette that I know for a fact I wouldn't have purchased if it didn't have a pop of blue and I love the packaging okay this is this Too Faced Pretty Rich palette just came out you know during the holidays very cute you know very big bulky palette but still cute nonetheless 
Uh, let's take a look at this palette, you guys. Okay. Now, this palette is very pretty, very gorgeous. As you can see, you can see the basicness of this palette, okay? <laughs> don't front. Don't sit there and act like you don't see how basic this palette is from Too Faced, okay? Now, they went ahead with the pop of blue effect. You can see it right up there, okay? Now, let me cover that up. Okay, so if I covered that up, let's look at the other shades in this palette. I mean, yeah, this, I mean, basically it reminds me of what, maybe the Sultry palette or, you know, one of them Anastasia palettes. It's just, you know, some, some neutrals and some glitter, okay? That's all it is. But they went ahead and added that pop of blue and trust and believe the pictures online are always way more saturated than the actual palette looks. <laughs> so they got me with this one y'all. They got me. Now do I regret buying this palette? No. Because I love the packaging. Okay. Next. Even the affordable brands is bamboozling me. Okay. Even the affordable brands is getting me. Beach Cosmetics. This is one of their glam reflection palettes. This is the smoke palette, okay? So a nice little smoky palette we got here. Let's take a look at this palette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now y'all look at this. Y'all see them two pops of blue in there. You see it. You see it, okay? You see it. Now I don't know if I'm be able to cover these up, you know, because you know I don't want to get uh blue all over my hands and stuff but look if I cover those two pops of blue up in this palette this is one of the most boring palettes on the planet okay let's just be real this palette is boring as hell y'all know it is come on now but the blue you know it's something about the blue when you add the blue into the mix it just changes the whole situation and just makes you say oh that's a pretty palette that's gorgeous that's bomb because you know what you can do with the blue you know you can add that pop of color so yeah bh cosmetics they got me too now <laughs> this palette is a really really pretty palette this cheers to the beauty from colored rain okay this is a palette that i don't know i may have bought this palette even without the pop of blue because it's a very very pretty palette you guys it's gorgeous even <laughs> but see they took it to a whole nother level now that i look at it they got the whole the whole background of the palette is blue okay so they really trying to bamboozle us with that the whole background is blue so now look if i take away the blue in this palette let's take a quick look now this palette has a beautiful red, a green, a gold, so it has some other shadows that would pique my interest if I saw this palette. Not just the traditional pop of blue. So even though it has that gorgeous blue, there's still some other shadows in here that would have caught my attention. So I think I may still have bought this palette with the colors that are in it. Even just, <laughs> if it's just because of the fact that the whole palette is blue, okay? I mean, let's just be real, I ain't gonna front. I like blue, okay? Now, one of my absolute favorite drugstore or affordable palettes, of course, is a Profusion palette. This is my absolute favorite Profusion palette. If somebody told me you can only keep one of your Profusion palettes, this is the one I would keep. And this is the Sultry. It came out, what, a couple years ago, a couple of Christmases ago, and I love this palette. Now, as you can see, it has the pop of blue effect in there as well, but it also comes through with some gorgeous greens, some gorgeous purples. I'm sorry about the glare, you guys. But yeah, it, always, it also provides beautiful greens, purples, along with the blue. So let's just take a quick look and see. If I covered up the blue in this palette, would it still be as interesting to me? Let's take a look, you know. With just the green and the purple in there with those really soft kind of earth tone shades. I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to think that maybe they add the green and purple in there to make you second guess it as well. <laughs> just in case you don't like blue. But I don't know. This one would definitely be a maybe because those are some gorgeous shades. But you have to admit the blue adds that extra element of options 
for this palette. Now, another palette that I purchased not too long ago when they had all of the holiday sales for Ulta and Sephora and whatnot, this palette, the Dose of Colors Katie and Desi Friendcation Palette, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. This is another packaging palette that I might have bought just for the packaging regardless. But look at this palette. It's beautiful, right? This is a gorgeous palette. It is really, really pretty. Now let's go ahead and take away this blue, this blue purple shade. Let's take that away, okay? I'll even leave the beautiful glittery black, okay? So let's just take away that blue shade and just get a get a close look. Uh, what are we thinking? Is this palette just as pretty or does it need the blue? Now mind you, there's some beautiful, absolutely gorgeous shimmer shades in here. Gorgeous. But I think when these companies are coming up with these palettes, they know that the pictures online have to grab attention. And something like this is not going to grab as much attention as something like this. <laughs> so they get me every time. Now one palette that I actually have an attitude that I bought, <laughs> I know I sound ridiculous, right? But I actually have an attitude that I bought this palette, okay? My girl talked me into buying this. Thank you, Lee Lee. She talked me into buying this Volcano Goddess palette, okay? Now the packaging is beautiful, gorgeous. It makes you think that, ooh, when you open this, you gonna get a burst of color, right? Wrong. <laughs> This is what this palette looks like on the inside, okay, you guys? This palette to me, without that pop of blue, couldn't possibly be any more boring or useless in my collection. That's just my personal opinion, that's all. <laughs> but let's go ahead and take away that pop of blue, okay? Let's take her away. Now, let's take a close look at this palette without that pop of blue. Y'all see this? Do you see this, okay? I mean, yeah, true enough. There's one, two, three, maybe four gorgeous shimmers in there. But other than that, there's a whole seven shades that I'm not even gonna touch, okay? Seven shades out of what? This is a 12 pan palette? Yeah, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But because of that, <laughs> this palette is just oh so gorgeous, right? Oh so gorgeous. Like, nah, sis. No, it's not. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> but she got me, and so did Becca, okay? Now, this palette here is the one that I can honestly say I probably would have still purchased it even without the pop of blue. This is my Ace Beauty Quintessential Palette, okay? They are an indie brand, and this palette is really gorgeous. Just everything from the design here in the actual palette to the shades and colors that are in this palette. Now in here you have some gorgeous oranges, reds, pinks, just a lot of beautiful stuff to play with. Some gold shimmers, gorgeous. Even a black. Y'all know how I feel about a black in a palette. I love it, okay? Now this blue, definitely the pop of blue effect. Absolutely, okay? Looking at the rest of this palette, it's like, what's that blue even doing in there, okay? What is that in there for? Marketing, thank you. <laughs> so, let's just take that blue away right quick. Okay, now, is this still a gorgeous palette? I think so. I think that this palette is very pretty, even without the blue. It's a gorgeous combination of shades, and I might... <laughs> it I mean I'm not gonna say for sure I would have but I might have still bought it okay but that blue showed enough help it showed enough help now I know what you guys are thinking she has to be almost done nobody is crazy enough to keep buying palettes just because they have a pop of blue in them no I'm not almost done <laughs> I'm not almost done. I have a few more to show you guys, and you know what? I'm not even going to show you all of them, okay? But I just want you to get an idea of how easily I can be bamboozled, okay? Now, this palette here, <laughs> this is the holy grail of the beauty community, right? 
the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Okay, this is the palette that everybody swears by. It's the bomb. It's just, it can do no wrong. Any look you want to create is in this palette, right? Take a close look at this palette, you guys. Take a close look, okay? Uh, let me just cover up the blues in the corner, okay? This little quad of blues. Let me go ahead and cover those up. Y'all still feel the same way about this palette? Do you still feel the same way about this palette? Let your sister know. Let a girl know, okay? <laughs> is this palette still the bomb? Or is this still just another Morphe 85% brown and two pops of color palette, okay? Come on, y'all. We all know the impact that this corner right here has on this palette a huge one <laughs> at least in my book it does okay so don't y'all go sitting there trying to act like that blue ain't make no difference honey child yes it does okay another morphe palette dare to create 39a now this is one of my favorite palettes you guys i love this palette when they came out with this palette i was like that's it that's all i need i don't need nothing else just the 39a give it to me give it to me <laughs> Okay, so this is what this palette looks like, you guys. Pretty, look at all these colors in here, okay? It's gorgeous, it's a very beautiful, colorful palette, but it's not really a rainbow palette, if that makes any sense. You know, it's colorful, but it's not really a rainbow palette. Now, are there about 50% browns in this palette? Yes, but you still get the gorgeous greens, pinks, reds, blues, you know, to work with. You got something to work with, okay? So let me go ahead and cover up this blue section here, okay? Now, how do we feel about this palette? What are we thinking? How are we feeling? I mean, is it just a, a boring, basic brown palette with a couple of pops of pink? Is that what we see, some greens? I feel like without the blues, I still wouldn't have bought this palette. <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't care how beautiful the greens, pinks, reds, oranges, nah. I still wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have a blue in there, okay? That blue is what took it over the top for me. What you talking about, okay? Other than that, it's just a brown palette with a pop of pink and red for me. Uh-uh. No, no. Okay. I have at least 10 more palettes on my desk that I pulled out to show you guys, but because I'm tired of talking about it, <laughs> I'm going to show you one more palette. This was a recent purchase, okay? This is the Berries and Cream. Now, when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's gorgeous. I have to have it. And mind you, this is a gorgeous palette, okay? It's very pretty. And I love the look I created with this palette, you guys. Love it to death. But let's take a quick look at this palette, okay? Packaging, beautiful. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. The beautiful kind of burgundy, rosy toned packaging is just really pretty now as you can see I mean it depends on <laughs> what kind of berries we talking about but I feel like it's a berry tone palette I think it's very very nice gorgeous you can create some beautiful looks with it I love the shimmers I love the mattes but let's be real let me go ahead and cover up that blue okay now let's take another look at this palette would I have felt the same way about this palette or would I have looked at it and just seen another kind of rosy, mauve palette? I definitely would not have felt the same way that I do about this palette if it didn't have the pop of blue in there because that pop of blue just adds so much complimentary color to this palette. It really does a lot to this palette. So I don't think that it would have the same effect without the blue. Not to say it's not a gorgeous palette without it, but uh, in my opinion, that blue added that extra element to it that just makes you say, that's a gorgeous palette. <laughs> it's really pretty, okay? So like I said, this was a recent purchase. I really didn't even realize I got caught up in the pop of blue effect with this palette. But I did, and it's just like, it's so crazy when you think about it. Cause first of all, there's only so many colors in under the rainbow, okay? And if you have a rainbow palette, if you have any of the ABH palettes, <laughs> if you have 
any basic neutral warm tone palettes, you're good. Honestly, you're good. All you need is one blue palette. I mean, there's only so many blues, okay? You need one blue palette, but they keep getting me, you guys. They keep getting me, and they'll probably keep on getting me because I love me some blue. <laughs> wanted to share with you guys today in this video I mean I know it's not like anything serious or major but it's like when you kind of go through and take a look at why you pick certain palettes why you're drawn to certain palettes eyeshadows colors things like that it's kind of neat to really just take a look at it and say wait a minute I keep buying the same thing over and over again I need to knock it off okay <laughs> so Doing this video is actually helpful and therapeutic for me, okay? As a makeup lover, a beauty lover, I need to knock it off, okay? From here on out, if I see a pop of blue, I'm gonna look the other way, okay? <laughs> At least I'm gonna try. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!